Good morning. It's Friday, October 11th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When God is Your Whole World, and our scripture is Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. All he does is just and good, and all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. The amazement, wonder, awe, and gratitude for and to God flowing from the psalmist's pen are a sum of that in which my heart wants to lose itself. I have lived long enough and sinned big enough to know the vast difference between who is God and who is not. And yet, my heart aspires to immerse all of who I am in God's love and compassion, His strength and wisdom. In short, I desire to desire Him more than anything. I want to be, as Charles Wesley wrote, lost in wonder, love and praise. Paradoxically, there also exists a side of me that fears to come that close. God is awesome, and His power is without measure. Should God decide not to receive me with open arms, the mere thought of being in his presence immediately leaps to what terrible fate would become of a poor sinner like me. Toasted like a Pop-Tart comes to mind. But God's word disagrees with that thought. Consider the evidence. To a wicked culture that only paid lip service to being God's people, he said through the prophet Malachi, Return to me, and I will return to you. Before David was king, he was hounded by Saul, chased into the wilderness, living in caves, an outcast, man without a country. David considered his experience and wrote, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. To his dull-minded disciples who just could never quite get it, Jesus said, Those the Father has given me will come to me, and I will never reject them. To crowds listening, Jesus offered, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I'm humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And to anyone who ever did choose to come close, on bended knee, willing to allow God to make him their whole life, he said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. For you today, it's never smart to approach God casually as if there's some slight chance that you can take him or leave him. But when you've made up your mind that you're long overdue in getting things straight between your Creator and you, remember all those invitations to come close. God loves you too much to go back on that word. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.